Howdy doody gamers, and welcome to summer. Summer is the three months of fun that everyone needs in their life, except for those of you who no longer go to school. A fun fact about summer is that summer actually stands for straw berry shortcake. It's true, I saw it on Facebook. You know what else I saw on Facebook? That's right, the beginning of the video. Now, today's recipe was brought to us by the King Arthur Baking Company. Now, I personally had many good interactions with the king, like opening a bag of their flour to reveal it was completely full of bugs. You know, good times. But with all that said, let's just get right into the recipe. You are going to want to wash your hands, because most types of shortcake are actually allergic to unwashed hands. It's true. Most people are also allergic to it as well, so you should be kind and respect them. So, wash your hands. Another fun fact about shortcake is that it's trying to tan. So, to help the cake achieve their summer goal of a sick tan, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, if you're feeling lazy, you could just use some spray tan. But, once you're all set up for a day of summer fun, you're going to want to grab out all of your ingredients. Now, using the power of 4th grade magic tricks, you're going to want to make one bowl. And in that bowl, add in 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 3 teaspoons of baking powder, 1 half teaspoon of salt, and 2 tablespoons of sugar. Then, whisk it all together. Now, for those of you who look at the recipe in the description, you may realize that there isn't some of the ingredients I used in the actual recipe. This is because I don't have the luxury of self-rising flour, I have to raise the flour myself, but if you do have some, you could use two cups of it to replace the flour, salt, and baking powder in the recipe. But with all that said, let's move on to the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you're going to want to grab a different bowl this time, preferably without magic, so that the muggles at home can do this step as well. But using that magic-free bowl, add in one cup of heavy cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk them together. Now take the magical flour mixer from earlier and form a well in the middle of it so that it could hold soup if you needed it to. Now take the heavy cream mixture and pour it into the well. Now, to season everything up, add in two tablespoons of milk to perfect the mixture. Now you want to mix everything together well to make sure they get to know each other, because they'll be spending the rest of their life together. Once all of the flavors have been thoroughly mingled, you're going to want to turn the dough over onto a gently floured surface and fold more flour into the dough. After the dough is done with their fun summer yoga routine, you're going to want to shape it into a 7 inch disc that is 1 half inch thick to symbolize the dough getting into shape for the summer. As the kids would say, it truly is a hashtag hot dough summer. Now that the dough is chilling on the table, you're going to want to use a 2 and 1 fourth inch biscuit cutter to cut out sections of the dough and put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Once you have about 9 biscuits on your baking sheet or are out of dough, you're going to want to brush 1 to 2 tablespoons of melted butter onto the biscuits to help them get ready for that summer tan. Another hidden option you can do is sprinkle some cinnamon sugar onto the biscuits to improve their flavor. Now, if you're going to use the spray tan, right now is when you use it. But for the rest of us, we'll be adding our dough into the oven for 12 to 16 minutes to help it get that perfect 100% all-natural tan that everybody strives for in this economy. While the biscuits are tanning, you too can go outside and tan with them. Maybe you will get a better tan than them. Who knows? When the oven starts beeping and the biscuits see that nice golden brown tan, you will know that it's time to remove them from the tanning chamber. Now, unfortunately, all of the biscuits will be mildly sunburned, so you should let them cool down on the pan or a cooling rack. Now, you could just use store-bought whipped cream, but that's lame. Instead, you're going to want to make some of your very own whipped cream. In a chilled bowl, you're going to want to add 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream, 1 4th cup of powdered sugar, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then, you're going to want to whip them. With a mixing machine, obviously. Once the cream is fully whipped, then you're fully done with cooking. 
Now that you have all your ingredients, you want to plate your strawberry shortcake all fancy-like. Take one biscuit and cleave it in half, and then add a dollop of your whipped cream. After that, you're going to add your strawberries under the wonderfully tanned biscuit. If all of this is done properly, you'll have a really good thumbnail for your YouTube video. But now that the biscuits are done having their fun in the sun, you should go outside too and have some fun. Or if you don't want to do that, you could stay inside and watch all my videos, I guess. And while you're doing that, you may as well just like and subscribe too, I guess. But until then, so long.